All right, everybody. Bruce Rupin and Home Repair. Nags Head, North Carolina. Getting ready to put a roof on this bad boy. They put siding on it, which is great. But when they put that siding on it, that I'm not sure what cool seal or whatever they did on top of that thing it might be TPO. It, uh, there's no way to seal that off. So here we are, Drew's roofing. Four and a half hours away from home. Let's rock and roll. The only issue that I've seen that we have dealing with that right there. We do have to do the corners a little different because they stick out, you know, and the other ones don't. They stick out. You got corner boards that go up. We got to go around it with our metal. You no, know, we're going to measure six inches off of this. Yeah, that out for that. So it is what it is. This is the only end we can't get that six, but we can get six all around the rest of it. Nag's head. He's icy. Yeah, it looks like snow, doesn't it? So much ice. All right, that's all right. We'll get started as soon as we can. We have everything we need. We could. This particular roof is 12 foot 7 from one side to the other. Plywood comes in four foot, or OSB comes in four foot wide. So we need an extra foot to give our overhang. So we're going to cut 12 inch pieces out of this piece of plywood right here. So that before them, we get out of one sheet for our center run. So we'll run a piece of plywood, then we'll run a 12 inch piece all the way down through, then I'll run our next two sheets. Or whatever works out the best when we get up on that roof. But that 12 inch piece will be added down the middle. So it'll be four runs, but three solid runs. That'll give us a six inch overhang on both sides. Dip on this under the house. We get rid of it. We don't want to have a pool sitting up here. So to eliminate that dip, I just added a two before right there, and that'll create that transition a little much better. Looking good. party. Oh yeah. Party. Yeah, we only have to pop this back end off about 10 to 12 feet or so. Bad, bad dip right here. Yeah, yeah. It's a bad dip back here, so we don't want to uh, leave that dip, so we're going to eliminate it by bracing it up, whatever we have to do to get rid of that damn dip. <coughs> we don't want it to be a swimming pool up here. Even though it's going to be, yeah, it'll be just fine, Chris. I'm at. Um, even though there's going to be rubber up here, we still don't want water sitting on our rubber. You know, and if it does, it's not going to hurt it. And it might happen here and there. But for the most part, we like it to run off. So build it up. Whatever you have to do, if you got a dip, build your dip up. So this end will be a little bit different than the rest of the trailer, and you'll see how we do that here in a minute. Basically, this video is showing you a little tips and tricks of how to get around a few things, like dips in the roof, which are serious. You don't want to have big dips in the roof. There's one right over there that probably has two inches of water in it. It's ugly. So we wanted to get rid of that bad dip. So we did some transition work there. Fix it. Yeah, there's definitely one there. What? Kill Double Hills, North Carolina. We are straight on the beach front, matter of fact. There is the beach. I'm talking about ocean all day. Ocean, baby. All right. That's where we're at. It's the center strip we're going to have down here. Be the one run. You, can, you don't have to run it all the way across like that. You can always get your outside here. Outside over there and then fill in the middle if you want to. Not a problem. Looking good. Thing I got, I can't make a difference with the wind. Two 
tubifores on. Y'all sign in as soon as we finish that up, put two tubifores on. As soon as we finish that, we're going to put the rubber up here, clamp it all down, <coughs> call it a day, drive around, check out Kitty Hawk a little bit. Once we finish checking that out, tomorrow morning we'll come back, put the, all the patient metal on. Nice. Put all the patient metal on, glue the rubber down, turn bar, we'll be going home tomorrow night. Home, baby, home. Yeah. <laughs> I think I had the speaker on. Anyway, got the pipe off flush. Beautiful. Got a pipe cap sitting there. Windy as hell. That's what it is. That's still double hills. Windy. Sir. Why? Huh? So I'm getting ready to start two by fours. Outside edge. All the way around. Matt's pumping the line. Got to run one more row of screws down through there. Get that row of screws on. Tip the force all the way around. We'll put the EPDM up here for the night. Clamp it all down. Come back tomorrow morning. Put the facial metal on. All the way around. Glue the rubber down. All the way on the whole thing. And then we'll start termination bar. Be finished by lunch tomorrow. That's the plan. Screws, 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 many screws. If you're doing this yourself, hoping you're learning something. The outside edge, you've got, you've got a little three-quarter board to screw into. You want to make sure you know where that is. So you can screw it down off the ground. Like Matt right now. Matt, you jump off there. Then you won't put on. We're on to the next step. Adding our two by fours down the outside edge. Beautiful. As you can see, we're ready for them. We got screws down through here. Ready just to slap them on. Screws down the outside edge, ready to slap it on. All the way to this transition, we gotta make some cuts here. We got a little bit of overhang that we didn't want. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that off. There to there, we'll find the line. Cut that. Adding the two before on the patient. Excuse me. We'll find the center. Couple screws there. Oh, the two deep. Transition right there. Got that figure four. No, I don't think that was long enough. No. Yeah. And then it's more small, no, it's small one, Chris. Huh? And then there's small people right here. Yeah, I got you. Oh, 
all these two before. It's all the way on the outside edge. Just screw the hell out of them. Can't hurt to have too many screws. Can't hurt to have too many screws. Then we'll get cut off at the end. Leave them alone. You don't have to worry about it. Butt the other one into it, just like that. Got some standing up down through there. Transitions ready to be uh, transitioned to the metal. We're going to put a piece of rubber up on this thing today. Yep. Put a piece of rubber up on this thing today and uh, call it a day. Come back tomorrow. Put the face of metal on. Put the rubber on, turn bar, and go home. All right, this is what we got today. It's windy. We're going to go ahead and call it a day. Put the rubber on this thing. Just to cover it up, clamp it all down hard because we do have quite a bit of wind here. Come back tomorrow and finish it up. Thanks for watching. I hope you're a subscriber to my videos. We do this stuff all over the place. We've been from North Carolina to Murphy, North Carolina, Tennessee. <coughs> Ohio, New Jersey, West Virginia, Virginia, doing this. And we have videos of all of them. So check them all out. How, long, how much does that zoom? Oh, it's good. It's got three cameras. All right, day two, and uh, when we left here yesterday, windy day in Kitty Hawk. We clamped it all off, so we just run the rubber over. siding on your house and you put this up there you can run your J channel stop it right there at the bottom see that's what's so genius about this for a mobile home you want to run siding on it you can't run siding really and just run it straight up because water go behind it uh, but if you do this right here you can level you fix the problem keep the level down through here Oh, it don't get no better. Yep. I really like that. 
Best design we ever had. We're getting better at our job. I have to install yes. stuff. I'm not Metal. bending that corner around. That way you can push it up and get the mark where it needs to be. And then we'll bend it after the fact. I'll mark it and everything. I got you got it. Yeah, I just think it'll be a pain in the ass to try and spin it and try and cut it. You look good. It's good. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Look at that. What a difference. That just makes all the difference in the world. Pretty work, pretty work. Kitty <laughs> Hawk, Kill Devil Hill. We went to the museum yesterday, had a good time. We really enjoyed it. You're gonna have to put one there, Paul. piece down and then move on to the next instead of just putting the metal all the way around because I'm afraid if we clamp unclamp our rubber all the way around it's going to blow off. How's it looking? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You going to hang that one out or not? Huh? Yeah. Okay. We'll on that corner. Chris. Let's see if we got it clamped down all the way. That's the way we got it. Not blowing real hard right now, but it does. We just we just go halfway, glue it down. Get it ready for turn ball. Once it's glued down, it's not blowing up. We're not worried about it. Then we'll just we'll move on to the next piece. Roll it back, put the metal on, glue it down. Yeah. I always really like to use that as the back of the Come bed. back, put all our termination bar on. This bad boy's going to be in the wind here. We're going we're gonna to be in the wind. Yeah. Just about three hours, maybe four I hours. I always really like to use that back in the bed. goes like it seems to be. Yeah, <laughs> nice looking roof. If you or anybody you know has a house in Kill Devil Hills, look at all this damn. Yeah, right. Let us know. We'll give them a price on coming down here. This house is 48 foot long. The what? By 12 foot wide. It goes down a little bit over 12 foot because we put an overhang on it. All the ones that go up and down and, um, are falling down. I, I love the side. How are we going to do across that window right there? It's real high. 44 and 45. Well, while I was here, I actually got a weak penny in my change, and I got a steel penny in my change, which is very unusual. <clears throat> hey, boss, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Yesterday when you told that woman you had something special for yeah. her, I thought you were about to pull out your dollar coins, man. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's like, no, you ain't about to pay him those. I, I had some uh, Susan B. Anthony's. Susan B's, I'm going to go Susan B's. Well, that's a... You like it? Yeah. Didn't bend around very square, Paul. Huh? It's a little you like it? Yeah, I like it. You know what I'm talking about. I think that's it. down the corner. Good. Matt's putting in stainless steel nails. Stainless steel boxing nails. Or handling nails, whatever you want to call them, but they're stainless steel. 
<coughs> we use them because the aluminum ones are none too easy. Stainless steel will be tougher. Stainless steel and aluminum are fine with each other. This will be the only trailer in this lot that has an overhang like what we do. The only one. But it will not be the last. It will not be the last. We will be back. I'm telling you. We will be back. We'll be back. Probably for the swimming pool. All the confidence in the world. We'll be back. Pretty work. There's no spaces on the outside of the edges of the plywood, man. That's the third one I found. You have to drive it from the bottom with your uh, things and pull it down. Or it won't pull it down, will it? What? It's flush. It's good right here. Yeah, I don't it. Oh, yeah. What's it for fun? Cold's about gone. I'm starting to feel better there. I don't have any more radiation treatments to go through. I feel good there. Actually, I'm starting to feel really good today, so my best day. You lost that in 46? You can, uh, you can feel I feel like I'm going to get better and better every day. The only problem I'm having right now is I don't have any taste buds. And all I can drink is water, basically. Like and I have a feeding tube, but that will be gone soon. Pray to God. Right I have three pieces on the other side. Got three pieces on this side. That gives us our first piece of rubber. Chris is making our end pieces. <coughs> we want to keep this clamp clamp down. We're going to fold that part back this way. We need to get up there and stand on it, help them get it glued down, and then we'll unclamp this, fold it back, glue it down. And then it'll be ready for turn ball. I won't worry about it balling off. We'll get down there and start that other end facing metal. So, this is our first piece of metal. The wind's blowing like crazy. It's a little bit cold. We're making a mark right here at the end of the rubber so we know how far to glue. That'll be our stopping point with our glue. And this first one, all the towels down and screw. It's a lot harder to deal with the fence ball. Uh, getting all of us going in. So we have all four of us just holding this rubber down, and this is what we call a contact seam. So where we can get this thing to glue down, we put a little bit of glue on both sides, and we'll turn it into contact cement so it drives. We'll pull it out, and at least that will be stuck down and we'll not be able to pull off the roof again. Then we'll be able to go maybe two more runs, pull it out, and then do another contact seam. Oh, I brought the brand we'll do that all the way down this roof. Like I was talking Takes to longer. Yeah. Don't think I have a screw gun. Nobody We'll figure it out. We don't need a screw right this minute. You get it contact that way. It can't blow off once it's contacted down with this so double side. You can't pull it loose, so we need it. We need it. So what you do is you let it dry out clear. Pull it into it, that is stuck like Chuck. Yep. Never come up. And that way. Oh, what you doing, Jerry? Can't put our clamps back on the outside edges because it will bend the know. metal. I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, that's the way we got to do it. Takes a little bit more time. We got to deal with the I don't see it around back. Slowly but surely. Got this side glued down. When you tell. Oh, no, 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 no. Be careful. Yeah, we're just going. One, two, three. One, two, 
of the tray, which is a clamp of a couple of feet, especially on the other side. Now some of the were over here. Yesterday we were four months in that region. As you pull your rubber out, you have to clamp it down you got wind. And you people have been worried about a snow load on top of this. If your trailer was going through the winter time with snow loads getting on top of it, um, and when you put plywood on it and rubber, it's going to hold three times the amount of snow. Probably spread it too bad. And one of my customers asked me about that the other day. He asked me about uh, after he did this, would it hold the snow or how do you get the snow off? I suggested a plastic type of shovel. seen it very much. Uh, we should have. Probably at least once or twice. Well, we did that side. Yeah. That's right. I asked about it. What? Sorry. Yeah, I'm not saying no. <laughs> Alright, we're there. Just keep the lamps on it. Keep the wind out from underneath it. It won't suck up. That seam. This thing actually looks nice. All these wind is blowing. I can't believe you got it down.
you have to pull on it. So you don't need them. See what's going on right here. Oh man. Oh, boy, that's sunny. Bright and sunny. Bright and sunny.
so much nice. At the house. Got some food. Yeah, food, food. <laughs> I'm gonna do mine driving. <laughs> 